ATM9 is a very difficult mod pack. There are some crazy difficult items, and resources are very, very important. So we need some upgrades. So in last episode, we got ourselves this jetpack and some all the modium with access to the mining dimension. And that was all well and good, but that's really not gonna help us for this episode because we need some much, much, much needed upgrades. And that starts with our storage area because having to go through chests like this kind of sucks. So I need to make a refined storage system and I have none of this stuff because that's not regular iron. It's quartz enriched iron. I guess we have to make some seeds. So let's make the silicon seed, which is pretty easy. Only need prudentium and silicon, and you get silicon by smelting quartz, which we do have 11 of. So I'm gonna make a quartz seed, which is slightly more expensive with tertium. Good thing we have a lot of essence. So now we can use our new safe seed area and make our quartz seed. And now we'll just throw it into our batani pot and we'll let that do its thing. Now we'll smelt the four quartz, which will allow us to make our silicon seed. But now we're actually out of places to put seeds, you know, just ignore this one down here. Just seen that now, which means we're gonna need to upgrade this as well. Cause if I'm being honest, they're pretty slow, but also along with it being slow, we need something to fuel this reactor because it's not being automatically fueled. I've only got 75% left and that storage system will use quite a bit of power. So I think I wanna make this garden cloche. But before that, there's one more seed I need to make and that's the quartz enriched iron seed. I wanna promise that's it but I, I really don't know. But for now, let's start on the garden cloche. So for that, we're gonna need four pieces of glass, check, and treated wood planks. Not so much check. We have the regular planks, but not this. Which I don't really know how to make. Oh, a Coke oven. I think I remember this from a different mod pack. And I think we need to make, well, the Coke oven, but then the Coke oven bricks as well. So what do I need for these? Compressed Coke clay which is made with sand, clay, and a brick wooden form, which is empty wooden form, and I'll call it a kniff. Don't judge me. I'm weird. So what do we need for the forms? A saw and planks. So what do we need for the saw? Why is this so complicated? <laughs> a hammer, a file. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Oh my gosh, dude. This is a bigger project than I thought. Oh wait, there's different kind of saws I can make, which are a lot easier. So let's grab some iron, make the iron plates. Then we just need two sticks, which we have plenty of. And we can also make the hammer and then the file, which is just two more iron plates. So there's the saw, the form, and now we need the kniff, which thankfully is easy. Now we can combine those together, make the brick form. Now we're just missing the sand. And I know I don't have any of that, so we need to find some. Here we go. Hopefully one stack will be enough. So there is our coke bricks, which we just go ahead and smelt. And then while we wait for that, the coke oven. Doesn't look that complicated, as long as this wrench isn't a pain. Yeah, which it's not. Just four more plates and our hammer. And there's the wrench. But we need the coke oven bricks. Okay, well, we got them here. So let's craft nine of these. That's 100% not enough. But we can make the coke oven block. Oh, I knew that wasn't gonna be enough sand, but that should be enough now. So with enough bricks, I think I wanna build it back here. And just for reference, that's literally right here. Yeah, okay. So let's just place this down. If it's built the same way I think it is, you just go like this. Yeah, there we go. Wait, please, please don't tell me I just need, I just, I just need this block. <laughs> okay, that was a waste of time. In that case, I'll just put it right there. So now I believe I need coal in there. I, how did, what? Why isn't this working? Am I missing something here? Hello? Why is this? Eh, okay, I don't get this. So let's get rid of this. And I can make the coke oven I was used to. We just need to make some bricks. That should be good enough for now. And now we just need some sandstone, which I believe there's a ton under here. Oh, no, never mind, that's silver. All right, on the hunt for more sand. Oh, well, that didn't take long. There we go, 48. But I believe I'll need this hammer also. And this one I know needs to be built like this. So there we go. And give me the hammer, ta-da. So now we can throw coal in there. And after a long while, we get a very small amount of the oil and coal coke. That means we can grab a bucket and then take out some of the oil, which allows us to make the treated wood planks. So now all we have left is the iron mechanical components and the light bulb. So for the components, 
we need four iron plates and one copper. There's the plates, and there's the component. It's now flight bulb time. And that's more complicated than I thought. Materials are pretty easy to get. I just need a blueprint. Oh, which is fairly easy also. But before that, we need this workbench, which is treated with slabs, treated with fence, and an engineering crafting table, which is, again, the slabs, treated sticks, and a crafting table. Let's make the slabs, the sticks, obviously the crafting table. So there's the engineering crafting table, there's the fences, and now the engineering workbench, which I'll actually put right there because I didn't know what to do with that corner until now. So now let's make this blueprint. And we have some blue dye right here. Oh, we need aluminum or aluminum, however you want to say it. What does it even look like? Looks like a white block. I'm sure we'll have some down here somewhere. That's silver, zinc, even more silver. Is this it? No, nope, that's nickel. Ah, here it is. So let's vein mine that. And I think that should be more than enough. So now we can go ahead and make our blueprint. And all we'll need now is some more copper, some paper, and some glass. So let's grab all that. And now throw the blueprint in, the copper, paper, and the glass. And I'm actually going to make a ton of these. 36 should be good. And it's nice this actually doesn't get used while crafting. And now we finally have enough for our garden cloche. We may need a few more of these, but I'm not sure yet. But now we need this flex point so that when we place this down, we can actually wirelessly power this. However, now I need water, and I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna do that, because the mod I normally use doesn't actually exist in this mod pack. So I think I just wanna try a fluid conduit and hope, which is just glass and conduit binder, which is made from conduit composite, which is gravel, sand, and clay. All stuff we have easy access to. So let's craft some of that. Now smelt it. Oh, we need clear glass. Thankfully, that's just glass in an alley smelter. So let's do that. Now give me these fluid conduits. And just to test to see if this works, I'm going to put it here. And I really hope I don't need a pump. Oh, does that work? No. Well, that's, uh, that's disappointing. I really don't know what, what I need for this. Okay, so I think I found what I need. And that would be these elite mechanical pipes but we're also gonna need this electrical pump i believe which is kind of complicated because of the infused alloy which in itself isn't complicated it's just redstone and iron but we need a metallurgic infuser and that's just for the pump then there's the different stages of pipes which is infused alloy previous tier pipe and uh, which isn't that complicated until you get to the higher tiers and then it's just pain all the way down. So we need to make that machine and we need to do that before this runs out of power. I'm just thankful the infuser isn't too difficult. Just four iron, two redstone, two furnaces, and some osmium. Now, I don't think we have osmium, but as you can see here, it's really easy to find. So here's the infuser, but now I didn't think of all the machines we have. So for now, I guess I'm breaking one of those glowstone pieces and putting it right here. I should really move this guy somewhere and I'll just throw him right there. So now we need to throw redstone in here and then put the iron. So there's the redstone and we'll just put a bunch of iron in and let it do its thing. Oh, but there's some upgrades we can make for this. And they're actually pretty easy to make. So let's take some of these and we'll crush down some of our osmium again. And let's make three of these. So now we can go into here and apply them. And we got three out of eight. So it's now 2.37 times more effective, just using a lot more power. All right, now that we have these, we now need a steel casing, which is glass, osmium, and four steel ingots. And if I remember correctly, I made a steel seed somewhere. So let's grab a stack of that essence and our steel ingots. Now we have our casing, which allows us to make the pump. So now we just need the pipes, which is steel and buckets. Well, let's make a couple more buckets first. And now we have a lot of basic mechanical pipes. But to get the elite ones, we need the reinforced alloy, which is the infused alloy back in the infuser, but with diamond this time. Good thing we have lots of that. Hello? Why won't you let me? Do I have to crush it down? Yeah, I just have to crush it. There we go. Now the elite mechanical pipe. But to get to the ultimate, we need atomic alloy, which is just obsidian. But the obsidian is a little more complicated. So we'll skip that for now. So now we can break these, put our pump down and I believe we just attach the pipe. Wait, what? How do we, is this not, wait, what? Oh, okay, it has to go like that. 
Tell us to sit above the water. Uh, or be completely submerged. But why aren't you... How does this work? Okay, that's the that's the power thing. So I assume if I just go like that, and, yeah, okay, yeah, that works. And now it's filling up with water. And I can apply upgrades to this. Just the filter, which we don't need. So we can get the energy upgrades, which will increase the efficiency and capacity. And then we can also get the speed upgrade, which I think we'll need. But for now, this is working. So let's clear out this wall a little bit. There we go. So now let's grab this and I'll actually make a little water source over here and I'll put that down right there and then the pump right there and we'll just run our cable. So if we take one of these pieces of dirt now, we put it in there, we can start growing stuff. But I actually want to use premium in that and I'm actually going to take the uranium seed along with it because we really don't need it up there. And I'll put the premium in here with the seed. And this is actually growing a lot slower than I thought. Well, that sucks. Well, let's do a little test. Let's put that there, and then let's throw the uranium seed in. And we'll see which one grows faster. Okay, they both grow at the same rate. Unbelievably slow. Yeah, so this was a massive waste of time. However, we do have a couple of these lily pads of fertility, and they speed up crop growth as well. And I know from talking to some of you guys and some friends as well, that those are actually very OP. However, you don't use any of these. And there is a little problem when we come to actually crafting these. They require fertile essence. And for that, you need a rib bone from skeletons, catalyzing gland from either a ghast or a creeper, and then slime pearl, which obviously can only be dropped by their mobs. And we really haven't run into any of those. Slimes, that is. But there is this thing called the loot fabricator, which you can actually get the slime pearls out of. You just need one of these slime prediction, and for that, you need a slime data module, which goes into a simulation chamber. Not too difficult to make. However, that's still going to be a little difficult. So I think I might just build a whole area like this down here for now and then have it auto craft and go into here. So let's get some of these pots going. That looks good. But now we need to make sure these items are actually getting all the way around and getting put into there. But you can't put essence into a reactor, so we're gonna need an auto crafter as well. And I think this auto crafter is exactly which one I will use. So we'll need two crafting tables, two redstone torches, and a machine frame, which is pretty easy to make. So let's take an ingot for the gold nuggets, some iron, and some of our blue dye as well. So there's our nuggets and the machine frame. And I'm actually gonna make a couple of these because I know I'm gonna need more auto crafters later. Now just the crafting tables and the torches, and there is our first auto crafter. But I also want to make one of these item trash cans, because there's a bunch of seeds and fertilized essence you get when growing in one of these pots. So here's the trash can, but now we need an item conduit to transfer the items, and that's just the conduit binder, and then pulsating alloy nuggets. I don't think we have any of this stuff. And that's actually very easy to make. Just enter pearls in iron which we definitely have. So let's throw both those in, which will allow us to craft these item conduits. So now if we come in here, drop down, and run all along the back here, we can start placing these down, and we can activate them as well. Just like that. And now we place the trash can down here, and we'll add a whitelist filter, and we'll put the uranium seeds in, and then this fertilized essence in as well. So those are the only things going into the trash can. So if we hook this up here and we change it to insert, that is all set up. But now we have to put down this crafter. So I'll just throw it down right here and we're going to insert here and I'm going to need some essence. There we go. And I hope we can just put that there and that's all that I'll insert, I hope. And then we just add a recipe and apply. But this also needs power. So we'll put the flex point right there. And now that's charging up, crafted up 14 uranium, and now we can just extract this out, and we can just pipe it directly into our system. So now our reactor's automatically getting fuel, but it's not extracting full yet, so I'll actually throw a drawer right there, disable this side, and then have it pulling directly into here. And now it'll automatically be stored. 
So we should be good there up to, I think, 2,000 items. So that should be good enough for now. So now with the power situation out of the way, we can go ahead and start working on our refined storage system. And because at the beginning of the episode, I made the silicon seed, we have a ton of essence to use and same to do with the quartz enriched iron seed. So all we have left to make is the machine casing and the advanced processor. The casing is easy and the processor I believe is easy as well. We just need this piece of raw advanced processor, which is redstone, diamond, silicon, and processor binding. Oh, it requires slime. I really don't think we have any slime. Wait, never mind, we do, we got 38. So let's make 16 of these. Now we can make the raw advanced processor and we could smelt that to make the controller. Now I wanna make this crafting grid, which is gonna require a grid crafting table and another one of those processors. So how do we make this grid? Glass, machine casing, enriched iron, and two improved processors and a construction core. Uh, basic processor, please be easy. Oh yeah, that's that's pretty easy to make. So let's make a few of these, smelt all those, combine one of those with quartz, one with glowstone, and we need to make one raw improved processor, or two of them, sorry. Smelt those, machine casing once again, and there is the grid, which can easily be made into the crafting grid, but now we need a disk drive, which is all very easy. So there we go. Now for the difficult part. We're gonna need a 64K storage part, which is three 16Ks, and each one of those is three 4Ks, and each one of the 4Ks is three 1Ks, which is made like that. So let's go ahead and do that, and we ran out of glass. That seems to be a reoccurring thing in this episode. So I'm just gonna grab a ton of this now. Okay, so now that we got that, I think I'm just gonna make a stack of the 1Ks. Now the 4Ks, what do we need? Basic processors, which are easier, but that's gonna be a lot of processor binding. So I think it might actually be worth it to do the slime seed. I just hope this isn't too difficult. Okay, so we need 12. So that'd be 24 slime balls a jar. And we need four jars. Yeah, I don't have 96 slime balls. And there really isn't an easy way to get that. So I guess we're just doing it this way. Hopefully four and a half stacks of processor binding will be enough. So there's the raw basic processors once again. And you know what to do with all of these. And now we can make 22 of these 4K storage parts. Now for the 16. And just the improved processors are the difference. So there is a seven of those. Now we just need advanced processors, which will allow us to make two of the 64K storage parts. Now we just need to put them into a case, just like that. And I believe we can build our system now. So if I move this brewing stand, I'll put the controller right there, which instantly filled up. But I'm put a flex point down as well, just in case this wireless charger doesn't work for some reason. And then I'll put that down there. Then the disk drive can go right there and the crafting grid right on top. And then we'll throw these two in to have 128K storage. And now we have a system that we can just dump absolutely everything into, except my food, I need that. And now here's the fun part of dumping everything into the system. And with that, I think we're gonna end the episode here. So if you did enjoy, please like, subscribe, hit that little notification bell to be notified every single time I upload. Also join my Discord, link down in the description below. All my videos get posted in there, so if for some reason YouTube doesn't notify you, you can get notified in there. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.